hello friends welcome to another session of video tutorial on test ng in today's session we are going to go through how to create a runner class that is test ng runner class and run the test please subscribe like share comment the videos on this channel if you have any training inquiries please contact me at techtrainerraj at gmail.com in the earlier session we have covered a, a factory annotation and there we described that there are three ways of running multiple test cases in test ng in last session we have seen how to run multiple test cases using factory annotation in today's session we will see how to use a runner class to run multiple test cases okay so let us flip over to eclipse i'm going to make use of the same test ng demo which i have used for all test ng video tutorial under source main java i'm going to create a, a new package so edu dot raj tech trainer dot so i'm going to call it as png runner click on finish under this I'm going to add a, a simple class okay test ng class 1 since I'm going to use annotation I'm not going to enable this main click on finish I'm going to add a new test here add test public void class class one method one okay, let me import this and I'm gonna print something here class one method one okay so so far I have created one class which has got one test case in it uh, let me copy this and create another one copy and then paste it into the package test ng class 2 to this is class 2 method 1 and call it as class 2 method 1 okay so we have created two classes each having one test case now from this class I need to create a test ng XML file I'm going to convert this into test ng XML file I'm going to call it as test ng run one click on finish and the same way I'm going to do it for test ng class 2 also convert it into test ng XML file convert to test ng and this I'm going to call it as run 2 okay so far we have created two classes and corresponding test ng xml file okay one is test ng run one xml and test ng run two xml file now let me create another class in here i click new class and this will be my test ng runner class and in this class I'm not going to use any annotation so that is why I'm going to enable main here click on finish let me take out this comment so here I'm going to create an object of test ng class
Okay, I'm going to import this. What it test ng. Create an object of test ng. Okay, if you look at the, the methods available with uh, test ng. There is a method called set test suites. Okay, so let us take a look at the set test suites. Set the suite file names to be run by this test ng object. This method tries to load and parse the specified test ng suite XML files. If the file is missing, it is ignored. What this set test suite do is so it will take a list of XML files and then runs the test cases which are mentioned inside the, the test ng XML file. So let us see how to use this set test suites method. Since it is taking a list of string, so we need to define define a list okay list of string okay switch is equal to new array list of here it will be string Okay, let me import this Java util. Inside this, I need to add the test ng XML files. Okay, switch dot add the full path of your test ng XML file. Remember, we created these two test ng XML file. I'm going to add these two. Go to properties. Copy the location and paste it here. Okay. And let me change this to forward slash. Or need to add escape character here. Let me add escape character here. Okay, so this is the first XML file which we have added. The same way, I am going to add the second XML file also. Okay, this I called it as testng capital run capital R run two. Okay, after adding these XML files, where is testng XML files? I need to call that method object tng dot set test suites. So this will take suites as input parameter. Set the suites to run. Okay, after this, I need to call the run method. Call the, the run method. So obj tng dot run. First thing what I did was I added this class. Inside this class, I have added one test case and then I created this second class inside that I have added one test case so there are two test cases one for each of these class then I created these test ng XML files for one for this class and the other one for this class then I created another class called test ng runner which has got main method in it 
and after that I have created an object of test ng and I have defined a list of switch and I have added the test ng XML files to this switch and then I set the switch to run and then I call test ng run method so let us run this class to run this class right click on test ng runner class run as java application okay okay as you can see from the result that it has run class 1 method 1 and then class 2 method 1 so it went into each of these classes and ran those methods so this is another way of running multiple test cases so far we have covered all the three ways of running multiple test cases one is using the test ng xml file and the other one is using the runner class and the factory annotation okay, it is not necessary that you have to create these two xml files inside this test ng run one xml file i can provide these two classes also for that you can go back and refer to the test ng part one video how to run multiple classes by using one test ng xml file okay that is the end of today's session please stand by for more videos on this channel Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the latest updates.